Hello, welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 30 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about displaying images in an ASP.NET Grid View control using template field. On this slide, you can see a grid view displaying employee related information, employee ID, name, gender, city, and their photo. There are two ways to display images within a grid view control. We can use template field or we can use image field. In this video, we'll discuss about using template field to display images within the grid view control. And in our next video, we'll discuss about using image field to do the same thing. Now, we are retrieving this employee information from this table TBL employee, and then we want to display that within the grid view control. Okay, so obviously to retrieve this employee information, we need employee data access layer. So let's add an employee data access layer class file to this project. So right click on the project to add a class file and let's call the class file as employee data access layer.cs. And obviously to encapsulate this employee information, you know, employee ID name, gender, city and photo path columns, we need a class. So let's go ahead and create an employee class within this employee data access layer file. So I'm going to call that employee class and then it's going to have these properties, employee ID name, gender, city, photo, you know, properties to represent these columns within the table. All right. Obviously, we need a method within this employee data access layer class, you know, um, to retrieve data from this table and then return that to whoever is going to call that method. So I'm going to have this, you know, get all employees method within employee data access layer class. So if you look at this method, it's pretty simple and straightforward method. Obviously, we have some uh, compilation errors. That's because we need some ADO.NET namespaces. So let's copy those namespaces and paste them there. So system.data, system.data.sql client and configuration. All right, so if you look at this method, all it's doing is it's reading the connection string from web.config file, creating a SQL connection object using that connection string, preparing a SQL command. Look at the command here, select star from TBL employee. We want to retrieve all the employees. Once we execute the query, we get all the rows. So we are looping through each row and then converting the row columns into the properties of the employee object and then adding that employee object to the list which we are going to return back. So finally, we will return that employee list. So straightforward, you know, get all employees method. Okay, so obviously on this web form we need a grid view control. So let's drag and drop a grid view control onto the web form. Let's auto format that. Let's choose brown sugar scheme. And to retrieve this data within the page load, we can invoke employee data access layers, get all employees method. This is going to return list of employees back which we are going to use as the data source for our grid view control. So get grid view one dot data source is equal to that. And then finally bind the grid view control. All right. So, so we get this data back and obviously if you look at the photo path, you know, if we want to display the employee's photo within the grid view control, then those photos must exist. If you look at the path within the table, they have to exist in the images folder of our ASP.NET Web Application project. So let's go ahead and create images folder. So let me add a new folder to this project and let's call that images. And we want four images within those, uh, within that folder, Mark, John, Mary, and Mike dot, you know, all of them having dot PNG extension. So basically I have these photos, you know, I have made them up using Microsoft Paint. I have just their names. Um, so let me copy these and then paste them within the images folder of our ASP.NET web application project. So we have the images there. All right, so with this, let's save everything. Let's run this and let's see what happens within the grid view control. So when the web form renders, obviously it's gonna call that employee data access layer, you know, get all employees method and then return that to this grid view. But look at what is happening. Instead of displaying images, it's actually displaying, you know, whatever data that we have in this column. Okay, so obviously, you know, that's just treated like any other data within the table and then it's being rendered within the grid view control. But instead of rendering, you know, that data like that, we want to use that data, you know, basically to retrieve the images present within this folder and then display them within that column. 
okay now at the moment if you look at this this grid view control doesn't have any columns defined at design time you know these columns that we are looking at within the grid view they are auto generated depending on the data okay so what I'm gonna do is we want to basically look at this we want one two three four five columns within the grid view control out of those five columns you know the first four can be bound columns because that's just data so I'm just going to display them within the label control but the last column you know the photo column I want this to be a template field because I want an image control within the template field and we want to bind that image control to this path you know this is where we have the photo so we are going to set the image URL property of that image within the template field to this column okay let's see how to do that first of all let's go ahead and add you know five columns to our grid view control so out of those five the first four will be bound columns and the last one will be the template field so employee ID name gender and city they will be the bound fields so let's add four bound fields one two three and four and finally we need a template field let's add that so the first field is going to be employee ID and the data field is also going to be employee ID because that's what is the property of our employee object and the next field is going to be name and the data field is also going to be name and the next field gender and the data field is also going to be gender finally city is the header text and data field is also going to be city okay so those are the four bound fields and this is our template field okay so click OK now look at this employee ID name gender city they are data bound but template field we haven't defined any template yet we'll do that in a bit but then there is another problem here look at this these columns are auto generated we don't want these columns to be auto generated so I'm going to set auto generate columns property of the grid view control to false so auto generate columns which is true by default let's set that to false so that should go away now uh, we want to you know edit the template within the last column which is the template field so since we want to display an image within the last column we want to define an image control inside the item template of this template field column okay so let's do that so click on edit templates and then item template what do we want there we want an image control there so let's go into the standard tab and then let's drag and drop an image control okay and then obviously the image control should be binding to the photo path but the photo path is the name of the column within our employee data access layer because this employee object is what is being returned by this method and if you look at the property the property name is photo so we need to bind to this photo property of the employee object you know the image URL property of this image object so go to the properties of the image control or click on edit data bindings and then we want that image to be bound to photo property of the employee object so we are binding the image URL property to the photo property of the employee object click OK and we are done so let's end the template editing there and you can also give the header text if you want so I'm going to give the header text for the template field as well so let's set the header text to maybe photo okay so with these changes if we run this as you might expect you know the grid view should display the fo you know the images the photos there instead of the path but then we have a slight issue here the issue is I don't want these images to be uh, so big because the actual size of the images is considered here that's why they are very big let's say I want them to be you know reduced size uh, I want 100 pixels by 100 pixels the height and width so how do I change that you know obviously this image control within that template field can also have height and width properties along with you know all the other properties that we already have here so let me set height to maybe 100 pixels 
and width 200 pixels. Okay, so that should have solved the problem. Look at this. So let me run this now. Now the images should be scaled down. Okay, so this match with what we have within our uh, grid view control. So obviously there are two ways to display images within the grid view control. We can either use template field or image fields. In this video we discussed about using template field. Okay, so basically to display this image within the grid view control, we are using a template field. So the template field is used to di display photos of employees. In the item template, we are using the image control and the image URL property is set to the photo property of the employee object. And to control the size of the image in grid view control, we have set the width and height for that image control within the item template. In our case, we have set it to 100 by 100 pixels height and width. And we also need to set the grid view one controls auto generate columns property to false because we are defining what columns we want to have within the grid view control. All right. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.